How's it going guys? West, Kelly, King here, and I'm back with another team discussion. And this is going to be the Raiders team discussion. And um, forgive me for my voice, I am I am fairly sick right now. So I'm going to try to not sound so sick, which I don't know how I'm going to do that. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So today I am going to be discussing the Raiders. And the thing about the Raiders, I do like the Raiders. Um, I, like I cheer for them, but like they're not my favorite team. The Colts are my favorite team, so I might sound a bit biased. But the Raiders are have well lately they've been a team with fairly a good amount of positives, and there's not really many negatives that I can you know pinpoint here. Well, I could pinpoint negatives from last season, but going into this season, I don't. I just don't know why they lose so much. It's like they. I'm pretty. It's like. One thing I've noticed is that they're always close. Like the games are always fairly close, but towards the end of it, they just they just can't keep up with them um, anymore. And I'd probably say that their biggest must um you know drawback from last season would have been their receiving core. If any of you guys saw that double fumble, but let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna talk about the positives first, of course. So the biggest positives the Raiders have are their young players. So the Raiders have very good young players and they're not in their prime yet and they probably won't be in their prime for another two to three years but once they get there they're gonna be a fairly great team okay so we're gonna start off with Derek Carr and a lot of people didn't um, you know see you know they, they didn't say Derek Carr was a good quarterback but I, I thought Derek Carr was a fairly good quarterback I thought he was the best um rookie quarterback last season I mean there's other ones like um who cares about the other quarterbacks? But yeah, I, I, I thought of Derek Carr was a fairly good quarterback. So last season, Derek Carr did get, he had 3,270 passing yards. And he had 21 touchdowns. Okay, 21 passing touchdowns. And he had an, uh, around 90, 92 rushing yards. And it's not a, a very important stat, but, I mean, stat, but, I mean, it shows he's somewhat mobile, which is, I guess, good. So he, he had 32... 3,270 passing yards, and you got to keep in mind the receivers that he had, okay? His receivers weren't that great. Like, there was one guy, he dropped, he fumbled twice in one play, okay? If you're a wide receiver and you fumble twice in one play, what are you doing as a wide receiver? But I feel like this year they addressed that position with um, Amari Cooper, which I, I feel Amari Cooper had the best, I mean, well, maybe the second best um. He was, I'd say he was probably the second best re receiver in college last year. Many people would agree. Maybe people would put him in first place. Others would put him lower. But in college, Amari Cooper did have, well, his, the year before he left college, you know. He did have 1,727 passing yards along with 124 receptions and 16 t TDs. And, of course, this is college. So the competition isn't as great as, let's say, in NFL. But when you're in college, the players that, that tend to be in college are around your, you know, level. So to put up those numbers at a college, I know it's not the greatest numbers of all time. But for a wide receiver, that is fairly great. So I'd say they did address that, season, that um, you know, main concern for the Raiders, you know, with their receiving. So they're, they're brightest part of their youngest players. And another young player, which was a rookie last year was um outside line linebacker um Khalil Mack and I did I really like Khalil Mack and for a rookie he had 71 tackles and four sacks okay which is not amazing or impressive like but for a rookie that's pretty good I mean 75 tackles for a rookie and you know he's just getting good and um I, I'm pretty sure in this season he's gonna get upwards of near a hundred or even more because I did see a report that said um, that he was going to be rushing the quarterback every single play from here on out. So, you know, he's going to get, get he's going to be getting more burn, you know. He's going to be getting to the running back more. So, I'd say he's going to be better. And he only had four sacks. But, you know, they weren't really using him as a... I mean, they were, but not to his full extent. So, I do believe Khalil Mack is going to be a good player. So, those are their main, you know, bright spots. And another bright spot I would point out is Charles Woodson. And I know Charles Woodson's around 30 years, 38 years old. But he still had around 130 tackles and like 4 interceptions. And for a 38-year-old safety, you know, that's pretty good. But, you know, the, 
the clock is ticking on him. So I don't know how much years he has. But he is another fairly, you know, bright spot. And I would say the biggest negative for the Raiders would have to be, like, their cornerbacks and safeties. And, you know, they're linebackers, too, because they're not the most... You know, they're not the most amazing people in coverage. So, other than Charles Woodson, the other safety that would most likely be starting is um, Nate Allen. And he only had around 62 tackles, which is half of what Charles Woodson had. So, if you're getting half of what a third of... If you're getting half of what a 38-year-old safety is getting in terms of numbers, you know, that's not very impressive. And another, um, another negative is their cornerbacks. Their cornerbacks aren't amazing by any means i think it's dj hayden and tj carey are their you know cornerbacks and they only had around 40 tackles each which isn't very good i mean i mean it's decent but with the kind of players you have in your division i mean look at um the broncos wide receivers you know their quarterback isn't the is it well their quarterback's pretty good but you know he's getting up in age but if you look at their with receivers demarius thomas and all those guys and Emmanuel Sanders, these fast receivers, you know, you're going to get burned by them. So that's probably their biggest negative. And they also have some positives such as um, Latavius Murray. But, you know, he's not... TG, um, Latavius Murray isn't an amazing running back. But with the few plays that he did get, especially that Kansas Chief, Chiefs game, he did do fairly good. So that is it for the positives and negatives. Not a lot of negatives, surprisingly, I know. But until next time... I am out.